guys thanks for tuning in we're out doing a little bit of exploring today now, i've been wandering up and down these trucks here see if i can pick up on anything interesting maybe a good spot to do some some metal detecting and look what i found that is a house foundation way out here in the middle of the bush we're going to do some metal detecting around here a little bit of scrounging see if we can find anything interesting got a feeling we will this is going to be fun all right so i picked up on my first well really good signal a strong 80s tone it's pretty shallow I imagine that's probably going to be a can but we got to check it out anyway That's not a can. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, is that a toy or is that? Yeah, that's got to be a toy, right? Yeah. It's one of those Texan shooters. If you can make it out there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's not bad for a first find. Feels a lot more heavy duty than than the ones I've found in the past. That's really cool. Even though it's broken, I still love that. It's still got the leather around the. Oh, that's awesome! Love it. Let's bag it and keep digging. That absolute rip snorter of a target here. Super shallow. That's 88, 89. I'm pretty sure I can actually see it. It's like I'm sitting right there on top. I don't know what it is though. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Another toy. Look at that! Isn't that awesome? It's a toy car. Look at it's in like a 1930s style car, don't know the bottle. That is beautiful, absolutely love that. Can't wait to put that on my shelf at home. <laughs> this is turning out to be a good spot. Just toys so far, no coins. Let's keep going. I'll do another nice sounding target here. Jumping around a little bit, I think there's iron next to it, but there's a strong 70s tone in there. Right in here somewhere. We can see how deep it was, so we should have checked. I think that's like a handle off a drawer, maybe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So there's some interesting stuff in here. Hopefully coins. Let's keep going. This tone's got me a little bit interested. It's probably the most solid signal I've had since I've been here. Oh, it's small too. Relatively shallow. I don't know what that is. It's lead, whatever it is. 
that's a fishing line. You can see the hole in there. This is like repurposed lead where they've taken some existing lead and drilled a hole through it and used it for a, for a fishing light. It's a weird spot for a fishing light though. <laughs> no fishing out here. That's cool. I like it. It's also like a design on there. I don't know if that's where it's been cut. Yeah, it's probably just where it's been cut. Yeah, let's bag it. Keep going. Onto an absolute screamer of a signal here. 70s tone in there, definitely, definitely squeak up. Just noticed bullet casing right there. Same tone, but yeah, that's a bullet casing. I don't know until we dig it though. Deep, whatever it is, yeah. There we go, bullet casing. Yeah, let's bag it. 1943, yeah. Squeaker, just going like really slow through here. It's right there. It is. I'm pretty sure it's right here underneath this little thing. And it's a ways down as well. Ninety-nine percent sure that is Australia an Australian military button. You can just make out the shape of Australia, and they have this same sort of uh, shape, this concave shape, and there's writing around the outside. That that is hundred percent Australian military jacket button. It's still got the shank on the back end as well. I've got three of these now. That's going to add nicely to my collection. I mean, it's pretty far gone. You can't see any of the details, but we know what it is. That's awesome. picked up something interesting and I don't know what it is first thought I thought that was a shotgun shell but it's definitely not it's solid for one usually shotgun shells have a hollow inside I have no idea what that is it almost looks like um, like a metal like a checkers piece it's the same size. That's obviously not. Well, oh, you know what that is? That's a weight. 
you can see there it's got half an ounce half symbol and then zero Z or OZ <laughs> that's sick that's really cool I mean you've got no idea how much iron is is in here for me to find that signal pretty lucky all right let's have a look and see what we found i don't have to do a roundup at the end of my videos but uh someone requested that i do so let's have a look first off we got the cool stuff we got the little toy gun texan shooter we got the uh lead sinker we got the military coat jacket button still with the shank on the back end that's really really cool i love that We've got the lead weight uh is that half an ounce really excited about that one that's cool that's my first lead weight that i've ever found uh, we've also got this really awesome toy car i mean this is the fight of the day for sure um, i absolutely love this wish it still had the wheels on uh, but that's okay super cool and of course we've got the ugly stuff we've got uh, lots of um, bits of can some foil um, what would a dig be without some beaver tail pull tabs? Uh, got a couple of bullets here. I'm not sure what that is. Some shell casings. And I'm pretty sure that's off of like a drawer or something similar. It would be screwed on there and you'd use that to pull a drawer out. So really, it hasn't been a bad day. I'm really stoked with this stuff. Uh, even though I didn't get a coin today, that's okay. Uh, the car makes up for that and the lead weight. Really stoked. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next.